somewhere in this world, a world filled with tragedy, filled with pain, filled with people whose hearts have fragmented over time as they experience misfortune. Somewhere in this world, a happy ending must await, right? If such an ending does in a way to set some point along the road, what was the point of traveling it in the first place? But maybe is a happy ending really just an end point in your life? Maybe it's an ongoing journey. Maybe people shouldn't see one ultimate happy ending, but multiple happy endings along the way. <laughs> or maybe that's stupid. I don't really know. But I believe tragedy can't be the only option. I want to believe that at least. Good luck finding it. That happy ending we all hope for. Is there something yeah, you want to say? It's me. All right, all right. What story did you want to hear this time? Little Red Riding Hood! That one again? Are you sure? Please! You sure do love Little Red, don't you? Is she your favorite? Doesn't the wolf scare you? Nuh-uh! I'm scarier than him! Rawr! <laughs> you got me, you got me. You're a brave little girl, aren't you? Come up onto my lap. I'll read the book for you. Mom coming home? Oh, it is about time for her to get back, isn't it? Don't worry, I'm sure she'll be home soon.
<sighs> Looks like I kicked off all my covers in my sleep again, too. How long has it been now? Ten years, huh? Oh. Ten years since her death. You're getting lazy, girl. Morning. Sorry I'm late. Yes. Uh, well, good. Yes. Uh, you have a good day. Did you want breakfast?
TV blaring loudly as always. That you, girl? Yeah, it's me.
Long time ago, there was a lab. No one really knows what went on inside that lab, but I do know that when people came out, they weren't the same. Not in appearance, they look the same, but on the inside, that's where they changed. The lab was experimenting with a chemical in hopes of enhancing human ability. Guess you could call it an attempt to help humans evolve faster. Super speed, super strength, increased mental capacity, telekinesis. It would bring out a power beyond someone's wildest dreams. The lead scientist was desperate for his life's work to be recognized, for his experiment to be a success. And in some ways it was. Those who took part in the experiment's first human trials became unlike anything the world had seen before. But no success story is without its downfalls, and an unexpected side effect occurred. They began to lose their humanity. It only happened in short bursts at first, but when it did, together with their newfound powers, they became violently dangerous. And so they were euthanized, killed off. Their lives ended as humanely as possible, and the experiment marked a failure. The risk was too great to continue any further. But one man, the lead scientist of the project, didn't want to just quit. Still desperate for his project to be a success, for his life's work to not go unnoticed, he created one last attempt at the drug, hoping to remove the side effects. Then he injected the drug into himself. It was too late though. The drug was considered dangerous already and the scientist, despite showing none of the horrific side effects, went into hiding with his wife after realizing that he'd never convince anyone he wouldn't turn violent as well. The man was never found. And with complete silence from him, perhaps proving that he had kept his sanity, Eventually, the search was called off. The failed experiment was called to a close and buried.
You awake? Come on, wake up. This is important. Dad? She's not so loud, you'll wake Gray. My name's Kay. I'm sorry if I frightened you. It, you didn't frighten me. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Sorry about that. I promise I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to warn you, actually. Warn me about what? You're in danger. Really big danger. I promise you, if you tell anyone about the things you learned today, things will go terribly wrong. There's someone after you. His name is Jasper. After me? Please be careful. One wrong move and things will go terribly, horribly wrong. Girl, are you still up? I have to go now. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll be back soon. Be careful. You know, avoid me won't help a damn thing. Yeah, fine. Listen, about last night, it wasn't my intention to piss you off. Guess I just... Find it tough to speak to you and all that. Sure.
Oh, didn't expect you to do something like that. Well, I did. So, here's your chance to explain things in a way that'll make you look good before I find the truth myself. You wouldn't find a damn thing. And why not? All I had to do was search your name to find all this. That news article doesn't even scratch the surface. And not a single other source even tried to find an answer. Uh huh? <sighs> I'm surprised that article's still up, to be honest. Why? Did something go wrong with the project? 